All right, welcome everyone. I am Todd Bookspan, the founder of Win by Noon, and I think most of you know that I'm a huge fan of HomeBot. And at the end of last year, I ran a number of webinars on how to create client engagement using HomeBot, and then did a mortgage coach call where I had uh, Grant Horvath from HomeBot jump on and uh, be my wingman. And so he and I were talking about it uh, after having Ernie, uh, the founder of HomeBot, on our Friday mortgage coach call. Hey, why don't we jump on next week and really talk about uh, from Grant's perspective, what he's seen, how people are creating client engagement. And the fun part for me is normally when I host a webinar, I have to do all the talking and I get to pass the baton. Uh, what else do I want to say great about you, Grant? You're getting ready to move to Arizona, so I'm super excited about that. Your role right now is enterprise. What? Like, what does that exactly mean? Yeah. So my role right now is essentially I partner with the top 25 mortgage lenders. And more specifically, I partner with the top producers. I mean, we have about 29% of the top 200 of Scotsman 2019 that are on HomeBot. I get to hear all of their best practices. I get to learn from the best. And most importantly, I have a ton of coaches that I can get good advice from like yourself as well, Todd. So it's crazy to me that 71% of the top 200 aren't using HomeBot. So those of you who are all here, like that's a huge advantage for you. Um, real quick, you know, if I was really smart, I would have put a poll into, um, into uh, the, the Zoom channel. Who here, can you just tell me, it only, only goes to us panelists, but who here is, just answer whether, yes, you're using HomeBot or no, you're not using it yet. So we kind of know who we're speaking to. That would be probably helpful for us. See a bunch of yeses so far. Yes, 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 all right. No, not yet, but will be. That's awesome. Not yet. Awesome. So a couple of things to make sure that you guys who don't use it, or even if you're using it, know a couple of things, right? There's a, if you go to homebot.ai forward slash win by noon, um, you'll get two codes there. One is WBN lender. That'll weigh you for you guys, the $200 sign up fee. And those of you who are already using it, use WBN agent for your real estate agents. And that'll waive the sign up fee for your real estate agents when they sign up. So for you guys, it waves 200 bucks for your realtor it waves their 50 bucks, but it'll be a nice way to, you know, make them feel good uh, about that. So um, I love that, that there's 71% not using it. Cause I think that's an advantage for everyone else who's here. Oh yeah, no, you nailed it on that Todd. And what's most important as well is being first of the stage, making sure that you are engaging clients with valuable content. And that's really what we're going to dive into today. Well, I think that's, um, someone says they don't see that site. Well, I'll, I'll uh, let me, we'll try it again. All right, so I'm gonna officially hand the screen over to you. Um, why don't you just run through and then I'll just add in, you know, some kind of color as we go. I'll sort of add in some of the stuff that my team has been doing that's, you know, really helped make uh, us successful as a HomeBot user. And then um, just know that, um, you know, my goal is to help all of you guys grow your business. And I think this is one of the things that I can help do to add value. Yeah, that sounds perfect, Todd. And keep in mind too, that with the way things are going with the current environment, I've completely tailored this presentation to focus on everything from a digital perspective as well. So this will be really good. All right. So let's start out with the four keys to success today. So most importantly, like we were talking about macro environment, things are changing, you need to stay more engaged with your clients. So our first key to success we're gonna focus on is client engagement when it comes to your past and current clients with HomeBot. You want to stay in front of your sphere with valuable content. You want to continue to generate more repeat and referral business. And most importantly, you wanna be an advisor and a leader because that's what people are looking for, especially when things are going all tipsy-turvy. You see all those little graphs showing up on the internet that are kind of like this, and then they just start ziggling around. We're gonna focus on keeping things together, keeping your clients with you. Number two, qualifying motivated sellers and buyers. So for anyone that's familiar with Andrew Pollock at Lead Pops, it's a really good book. I keep this within arm's reach. One of the best ways to get more real estate agent partners is to help them grow their business. So I'm gonna focus a lot on how HomeBot will help both yourself and your real estate agents grow their business, get more listings in the pipeline, and hopefully be consistently in escrow. Number three, filters right into real estate agent partnerships. How are you going to use HomeBot to secure more agents? How are you going to use our new feature where you can invite agents for free? And most importantly, how are you going to support them throughout that growth process? And finally, digital disruption. I wish I could coin this phrase. I'm sure it's already been coined, 
but things are crazy. You need to stay in front of your sphere. You need to build your brand and you need to have a strategy down on how you can do that. Make HomeBot a part of that tool for that value add. So before we hop in, Todd, I wanted you to kind of give people a little background. How would you say your client engagement has been through HomeBot over the past year and a half or two that you've had the product? You know, it's been pretty, pretty incredible. I mean, the one thing I would say is I kind of always kicked myself that my team didn't jump on it sooner. At the time, I was coaching some folks from Colorado who were part of the original beta test when you guys launched, and they kept talking about how great it was. And I guess I was just an idiot because I didn't, uh, I didn't jump on sooner. But for us, we see um, each month about uh, 55 to 65 percent of people not just open the email, but actually go and view the digest. And I would say overall, you know, we probably get a, a B minus or C plus for how we've used it. We're finally deploying someone uh, who now has time because she's at home, our marketing uh, director, and she'll start actually calling people more frequently in there because I know you'll go through best practices, but that's like best practice probably number one is to reach out to people who are actually on the site viewing the digest and interacting with it. And, you know, we've been handling the ones that have become in reactively, but we haven't been proactive. And then now this week she'll start doing that. Yeah. And you hit the nail on the head there too, Todd. And we will be going through a lot of those top producer tactics throughout this presentation as well. So let's start with a quick background. For those of the people that are not on HomeBot or aren't too familiar, we are based off of this metric right here. It's kind of the semblance of you're pretty much selling retirement plans to your clients. That's what we're getting after because the average American, what they typically retire on mostly comes from home equity. But along with that comes a lot of financial decisions, a lot of potential insecurities and lack of understanding of what they should actually do with their home once they get it. So that's where you come in as that advisor, that leader that ultimately flicks the switch in their head that says, hey, you should refinance right now, or hey, you should add additional principal payments, or maybe even think about cashing out. And especially too, when people have so much equity in their homes and need that liquidity, there are a lot of good things they should be thinking about, but don't necessarily know unless you're in front of them. So here's the really big thing that Todd touched on when he talked about engagement. He's been getting about 55 to 60% engagement on HomeBot, and it's specifically because this is a wealth digest. This is something of immense value that sends out every single month. It's branded to you as the lender or agent, and it gives your client everything they need to know about their home in terms of an asset. So for example, and I'm actually going to hop into my HomeBot here as well. So Todd, you're gonna be excited, man. We're gonna hop into a top producer tactic as well in a few seconds, but you pumped? I'm ready, I'm excited. All right, cool. So let's talk a little bit more about the HomeBot Digest. So the way we like to put it is, everybody loves getting their credit report. Everyone loves looking at Credit Karma. They love watching their score go up. It's addicting. This is kind of like Credit Karma for the home. It shows the valuation, shows how it's trending, as well as every which way you should be thinking about the home as an asset. So equity, how much equity, how much net worth is the home to you? How does homeowners insurance work? What should you be thinking about? How should you be thinking about leveraging this to save money over time? Even refinancing scenarios. So Todd, did the Bookspan Baker team get any direct messages or calls about refinancing through HomeBot over the last few months? Every day, literally every day, right? So um, give the kind of the hint on how that works. I mean, what do people have to do in order for us to get that message? Yeah, of course. So every aspect of this report is actionable. That is the key thing there. You want something that elicits an action because it's not good enough if someone just goes on here and they don't engage. So every single one of these sections, if your client has a question, they can reach out to you directly provides all your contact, provides simple one-click buttons. If someone reaches out to you, get an email in your inbox, tells you who the client is, what their question is. Now here's a fun little sneak peek because this refinancing section is going to be changing a little bit over the next few months. And for all of our mortgage coach users out there, you are actually going to be able 
to incorporate TCAs into this piece coming very soon. You want me to give them a little bit better of a look of how that'll be, Todd? Yeah, so let's, let's, let's do two, two things real quick. Because someone's asking on the value, is, can you just real quick talk about where the value data is coming? Excellent question, yep. So the first aspect of this digest is the valuation piece. Where we're getting the values from, it's a company called Black Knight. They're one of the largest automated valuation providers in the US. They're pulling national MLS data. They're pulling sold data around the area. They're creating an aggregated value. Now where HomeBot differentiates itself from all those other valuation tools out there is number one, we actually build a formula to make this more conservative. So that's number one. We don't want your clients to feel rich. We don't want the vanity of feeling rich. We wanna help them become rich. Number two, and I'm gonna to touch on this piece a little bit more later, if your client thinks the value of their home is off, they can actually tune their value. They can reach out to you with what they think the value is. They can ask for a CMA request, and this is going to turn into a listing machine, and that capability of showing your agents who their potential motivated sellers are. So that's the quick answer to the question. What was the second piece there, Todd? Well, so let me just throw my two cents in, right? Because agents ask our team that all the time when we're signing them up as real estate agent partners. And I tell them, I hope it's not accurate um, because now that they have the tune in piece, that, that's kind of cool. Because again, you'll get notified when your client goes in there and tunes their value. But ultimately, I wanted people to think the value was off and ask for a CMA so that we could create that, that engagement. So for me, it's all about engagement. And so I think the less accurate it is up front, the better because it's going to more likely cause your client to actually reach out. But I also think it's just one of those things where one of the scripts that, that our business development manager will use is awesome. Hey, what do you think of your value? And so again, she's going to be looking for the opportunity to connect them either with the agent who referred them to us or to connect them to a new agent, you know, that we work with instead, because uh, that's an opportunity for us to spread some love and potentially get some people, some other uh, referrals down the road. That's awesome. I'm going to write that script down as well. And for anyone else that wants to talk scripting on the call, you can feel free to reach out to myself or Todd. I'll give you both of our emails at the end of the call as well. Be happy to talk about it, but excellent. Yeah. I'm going to have to talk to your business development manager. It sounds like they have it on for that. Well, we'll see. You can, we'll interview her after she's actually done it for, for a month or so and we can kind of get her feedback on the scripts I've equipped her with. So we'll, I think it'll be pretty good. I mean, she's an, an introvert. So it's, you know, to be different for her, but she loves to connect with people. So I think that will be a good, a good combination. That's awesome. And that's a perfect segue too into this client engagement piece. Like you said, this is just a giant action elicitor. Every single piece of this is just another light switch that's going to flick off in your client's head that says, wow, I didn't realize I could save money by adding additional principal, but what if I want to pay a single large payment versus refinancing? What if I want to use my equity, buy an investment property or trade up to my dream home? I mean, rates aren't all bad. There's more equity locked up in homes than ever. The market may be more of an opportunity for a buyer's market. Why not just hop into it or at least check it out or call your lender or even get some more liquidity like we were talking about. You know, some people may be in a tough situation may have to access some of that home equity. So HomeBot showing them, hey, there's a million and one different ways that you could potentially leverage this. How about you reach out to your professional and your advisor? And most importantly too, like you were saying, Todd, every single aspect of this digest isn't just about engaging your clients, but it's about giving you all the tools you need to proactively reach out to them. So this is something you talked on earlier is, Overall, figuring out who has looked at their digest, who has viewed their digest, creating a call list off of this. And forgive, you know, forgive me if I'm wrong here, but a major aspect of win by noon as well in your philosophy is getting those most important calls done earlier on in the day, right? Getting those important tasks done. Well, absolutely. And, and I think that, you know, again, our if we weren't underhanded on the underhanded, understaffed on the LO side you know, we would have had an LO every morning going through and, and making these calls. And, and I think it's just a critical thing. If you're going to invest in the resource, add value to your client by calling them and checking in. And then the other part too is, is that, if, you know, once you call the people who've engaged, I think there's a great opportunity to call those who haven't.
because again, it could be in their spam. They might not know it's there, or maybe they don't find it valuable and you need to explain them to them why they should. Exactly. And that's one of our top producer tactics as well. It's actually our number one when it comes to adding more values, this piece right here. Do what Todd was saying. If you have the resources or if you have the time or if you want to dedicate one hour in the morning or even one hour a week to prospecting off your past client database, this is going to be gold because you not only have a full view of what everyone's doing with their digest, but more importantly, you have a value add topic. You can reach out to them and say, hey, I was just looking through my database. I know rates are lower. Saw you had a great opportunity to refinance. If you want to set up a quick 15 minute consultation or Zoom meeting, and we'll go through your home bot and talk about it. Or let's set up that TCA when it comes out in the future. Let's set up that TCA. Let's talk about what your options are. And that can actually be triggered through HomeBot as well. So this activity feed is great for building, engaging, valuable content for those calls that you're going to make. All right. So let's go back to that TCA piece. That sound good, Todd? That sounds good since I cut you off and everyone's probably wondering like, what a jerk, Todd, is he cut Grant off from the thing I was here to see? Hey man, you're building suspense. That's what <laughs> it's all about. All right, so let's hop over and let's give you just a brief understanding for everyone on the call of what this TCA piece is going to look like. And it starts off with the refinancing section of HomeBot. So keep in mind, we're still just trying to beta test this a little bit more. We're working with Mortgage Coach. We're super pumped about it, but it is not out yet. But how this will work is if someone is interested in the refinancing piece of HomeBot, when they click any one of these boxes right here, instead of check your 15 year fixed options, there's going to be a button to start a TCA. It's probably going to happen one of two ways. You're either going to get a text message and an email immediately, and they can directly start their TCA through HomeBot or you're going to get a text message and email and it's up to you to reach out to them to start the TCA. We're still gathering input on this. So anyone that currently is on HomeBot, you can always go to your dashboard, click the customize button and actually request early access. Now we can't specifically say when it will be released, but if you go request early access, you'll actually get to see right there, get a detailed breakdown and HomeBot will either send the client automatically a TCA link or it's going to allow your clients to request one from you. Sound pretty cool, Todd? I'm super excited because I think it'll save a ton of time, right? It, it sounds like from uh, when Ernie and Dave were talking about on Friday that it's going to yeah, be a push into you your mortgage coach environment, and then you can go in there and tweak it, which, you know, anything that saves, I think an LO a few minutes of time is a game changer. Oh yeah. Especially in a market like right now where I'm sure everyone's just getting a ton of TCAs that they're doing going out. It's crazy stuff. All right. So that's our first top producer tactic. That's a little bit of a closer look on the TCA side. Now let's hop over to our next key to success. And that is qualifying your motivated leads, your motivated sellers. All right, let me go back into my present here. So how are you going to be a growth engine for your real estate agents? How are you going to get three to five more top producing agents on HomeBot with you? And ultimately, how are you going to help grow your purchase business? Because whether or not purchase business is going to be a big thing over the next few months or not, whether or not that spring push got pushed back, you're still going to want a full pipeline. A full pipeline is always key. So we have a digest specifically for buyers that you can include all of your pre-qualifications, all your pre-approvals, anyone that may have fallen off the map. You can even get your real estate agents to send you over there, motivated buyers as well, if you'd like. The bottom line is you need something that's engaging, addicting, and will keep you in front of your potential buyers and motivated sellers. In comes the HomeBot Digest. These are investor grade experiences. They show exactly when and where your buyers should be thinking about getting their next home. And it's all through a heat map. Shows where the hot and cold markets are, shows where 
they could afford potentially the most square footage, where they could afford the cheapest buy, or even a brief idea of what the timeline could potentially be. Because if it's a hot market, maybe more competition, may take longer to get into a home. And ultimately, you want to equip your buyers with everything they need to say, you know what, I need to start home shopping, or I need to get pre-approved, or I need to get more pre qualification done so I can figure out what my price point is so I can get into my home. Now the new piece that we've added for those not familiar with why Lopo, they're an awesome home search, awesome listing search, an incredible tool for real estate agents, but we've equipped their listing search to the lender side as well. So now as a lender, if you have a buyer that likes a zip code, they can actually go in, and they can look at listings in that area. This is just another way to keep people in your pipeline, keep them off of Zillow, keep them off of other websites, and you get notified every step of the way as well. Todd, have you seen this yet? I've seen it, I love it because it's live MLS data. And I think any time that you can get that in your client's hands, and as you said, it keep them off Zillow, that's a, that's a good thing for all of us. Oh yeah, and it has an added benefit as well we've got a new top producer tactic that came out of it too. So for those of you that already have HomeBot, or for those of you thinking about it as well, it's a great way to qualify motivated sellers. Now, a lot of people originally use the buyer's piece just for their pre-quals and pre-approvals and potential first-time homeowners. But all of a sudden, people started getting emails and they started getting a lot of emails that said, so-and-so is exploring new markets. These are huge because now in HomeBot, your homeowners can create their own buyer's report. It's one of the biggest new tools we've added. And it's most important because number one, the second that email comes in, your phone call should either be to the agent or the homeowner saying, hey, I saw you created a buyer's digest. Were you thinking about potentially trading up to a new home or buying an investment property? Set up a quick 15 minute consultation to talk about it. Or pass along that person to your real estate agent. If you give them a qualified lead for free that you got off of HomeBot, rather than them having to hope for leads for that $1,000 a month subscription to Zillow Premier Agent, you're gonna be a rock star and you're going to pick up a lot of agents while this craziness is going on. Todd, have you gotten to check out this piece here specifically yet? Well, that's when I was sold on it. So full disclosure, because Grant's not going to throw me under the bus, but full disclosure, I was like, dude, I just don't get this whole buyer thing. It was pre when they had the live, the Y Lopo live search on there. And I was like, yeah, it just doesn't, doesn't really hit me at, you know, make me think it's, it's great. And then he's like, kind of slapped me upside the head virtually. We, we went and had uh, some happy hour and then he pointed out this move date on here. And all of a sudden I realized, you know, we had over 50 clients who had actually registered and actually told us when they were planning on moving and we were just too dumb to miss it. <laughs> to politely put it on Todd's end, yes, this is huge. Move date is a sign of intention. Todd checked it out. For all of you that are on HomeBot already, you should check it out too because I can bet you nine times out of 10, you've had homeowners that have created this. You have homeowners that have put in the date they're thinking about moving and you have a seriously easy call list to go through over the next two days. Sound about right, Todd? Absolutely. Right. And every once in a while, someone's like, oh, I just put a date in there. But again, it still gave us client engagement. I mean, that's the whole key here is you're calling people and you're connecting. And right now, I just know a lot of people, you know, I know we've got refi mania going on, but I know a lot of people are sitting around um, and not doing their proactive lead generation. And this tool has just made it really easy for, for our team. Oh, yeah. No, this tool is specifically meant to help you build more call lists, help you engage more and really hit when the pan's hot. So along with that too, we've talked about the homeowner side, we've talked about the buyer side, we've talked about getting high levels of engagement, both reactively by sitting back and waiting for the calls and emails to come in and proactively. Now let's talk about the really important piece. How do you get more real estate agents involved with you? How do you help them grow their business? And how do you do it through HomeBot? So I'm going to go to our third key to success here real estate agent relationships. All right, how does HomeBot work with real estate agents? Number one, everything that we've talked about on the call so far, 
your real estate agents have access to it as well if they sign up with you through HomeBot. So there's two different ways to do it. There used to be just one, but we really stepped up our game on the second one here. So how does co-branding work with HomeBot? If you want a real estate agent on, you sign up for our Lender Pro plan, you use WBN Lender to get your $200 wave setup fee, and you can easily add and invite agents. Now, everything an agent sends out to their clients is going to be a little different than what you would send out. And it's because since you are co-branding and you're sharing the cost with the agent, their information will show up on top because it's intuitive. They're all the agent's clients. We want them to know they're receiving it from a trusted person. But in every single financing related section, your information as the lender is going to show up. Now, this is powerful for numerous different reasons. Number one, if an agent has 500 clients that they upload into HomeBot, that's 500 more people your face is in front of every single month. Number two, you're being a trusted resource to your agent as well. You know, uh, there's multiple webinars. Uh, I'm sure everyone online too is an avid webinar watcher, especially now that say, you gotta take care of customer one and customer two but mostly focus on customer one, right? Those partners, your real estate agent partners, your lawyers, your financial planners, all those different referral sources. And that all just trickles down and taking care of customer two, which is the homeowner, the client, the buyer. So being able to give your real estate agents a tool that will help them grow their business, especially in a time when a lot of people bury their heads in the sand. And I'm sure I'm probably going to butcher that phrase because I've heard it so many times over the last week. It's huge. You want to provide something of value to your agents. Now the second piece of that pie, and this is the most important one, Todd, are you aware that we have a free version for real estate agents now? I am. I think it's uh, totally cool because they're all cheap and, or they're all skeptical, I think is really what it is. I used to take <laughs> agents and I would say, well, let me put you into our home bot so that you can see it as a as the consumer would see it. And now I think it's just so much more powerful to say, Hey, I just gave you a free account and set them off, but I don't know all the details of it. So why don't you share those? Yes, sir. So the way I like to put it is this is your way to drop the mic at any agent presentation you'll ever do from here on out. If you're talking about HomeBot or you're having me talk about HomeBot for you, one of our business development managers at the end of the presentation, how nice would it be to say, by the way, you guys all get a free trial version of HomeBot. Just email me and I'll invite you. You can do that now. Agents can get a free version of HomeBot through their lender where they get up to 25 clients they can upload and they don't start getting charged, which means you don't start getting charged until they go over that 25. So one of these big things I've been doing and Todd, I've been doing this a lot with uh, people across the fairway sphere too, is I've been going and doing digital disruption webinars We've been getting a bunch of agents into a room, virtual of course, and at the end of the presentation, the loan officer just says, hey, by the way, just email me and I'll set you guys up on a free HomeBot account. That seems pretty powerful to be offering a free tool of value, especially when people are looking for free right now, right? Well, it's just different than getting up and selling them something, right? I mean, granted, they all have more than 25 clients, but it's a start to show them the power of it. And I think it's a, a great tool that, that you guys came up with to help us grow our businesses. Yeah. And that's what it's all about too, is we know that right now is the best time to land and expand. It's the best time to pick up real estate agent relationships. So we want to equip you with the tools necessary to be able to do that. And more importantly too, like I said, that tune your value piece is going to be huge. That is effectively what we call a listing machine for our real estate agents, because it's like you said, you want that conversation to go back to you. You don't care if it's good. You don't care if it's bad. You don't care if they say this value is slightly off. You want them to say that because then it's as simple as, oh, well, let me get the real estate agent on the line or, hey, were you thinking about listing or a million other different ways you can steer that conversation to show that you're here for your client and ultimately you're their best advisor. And of course, it stops them from getting Zillow. Any conversation you can keep in your sphere rather than someone clicking a shiny button somewhere and getting sold as a lead is a good thing for you. And finally, it's all about scalability. If you've got an agent that has X amount of clients, 
you've got another agent that has X amount of clients, got a third agent that has X amount of clients. Every single agent you add on HomeBot is just adding to your total reach. So ultimately, that 1,200 turns to 2,200. Now the final piece, and this is by and far probably the most important, is how are you going to digitally disrupt your sphere, your area, your region, how are you going to build your brand, and how are you going to effectively generate leads through HomeBot? All right, Todd, too. It looks like we have quite a few chats coming in. Uh, anything important hopping on? Um, someone's asking about the cost for real estate agents. What happens after 25 clients? Excellent question. So the cost for real estate agents, and I'll drop into this a little bit further in the next three or four minutes, is just $25 a month for the agent, $25 per month for the lender, on top of what the lender is paying for Lender Pro, which is $200 a month. So the agent just pays $25 they get up to 500 clients they can upload. And typically what we see is if someone's gonna upload 25 clients on the free version, they're gonna throw their entire database in. So we find it very effective that, you know, once they kind of hit that 25 barrier, chances are they probably send in their entire database. So that's really where we kind of get that number from. All right, and then you also mentioned that, that you've done some virtual meeting or, or the HomeBot team has done some virtual meetings with some loan officers, is that something that's available to anyone who's a HomeBot subscriber? How would they go about getting one of you or your cohorts onto a webinar? Excellent question. So before I hop into this digital disruption piece, I'm gonna show a simple list. Incredibly intuitive. This is the list of every single one of our business development managers, their email, and the region that they cover. So for anyone on the line that wants to screenshot this, this is your comprehensive list of people that will gladly connect with you that are actual real estate agent and lending professionals that are HomeBot business development managers that will be able to do the agent meetings. If you don't see your region on that list, for example, if you're in the uh, Southwest or Mountain West, feel free to reach out to me. I'll give you guys my email at the end of this. All right, any other questions, Todd? Nope, that's, uh, that's good for now. All right, perfect. So let's go into that final key to success before we wrap it up. All right. So smart, they're just getting ahead of us. I know, right? Wow, everybody's two slides ahead consistently. So we've got a good group here. All right, so the last piece, your brand. How are you going to show your entire sphere that you're the advisor, you're the leader, you are here to provide valuable content every single day? So the first piece right here, it starts with our personalized lead capture page. Now this is incredibly simple. It's a small little link. You can post it on Facebook. You can post it on LinkedIn. You can have it on your website. You can have it on your signature for your email. You can even just email or text this to your best friends or your immediate sphere. And it's a simple way for them to sign up for your home bot. Now where this really comes in handy is your strategy. So a lot of people like to shoot video. Now, I've got this piece right here. I've got my handy dandy list of books. This is Bomb Bomb's book, Video, Video, Video. Incredibly crucial right now because you want to have people recognize who you are. You wanna show people your level of excitement and of course your level of concern as well. So what a lot of people do with HomeBot is they will actually go on Facebook, go on LinkedIn, they will shoot a video of either themselves talking about HomeBot and how it can help people generate more wealth over time. Or they'll just go through their own HomeBot. So I'd pull up my own HomeBot digest and say, hey, here's what I'm getting every single month, showing me my equity, how I can use that equity. And by the way, DM me your email and property address and I'll send you one for your home or click on the link in my comments. All right, I see the chat box going a little wild here, Todd, anything coming? That's just me, I'm giving the late arrivers the codes for the discounts. Got it, got it, okay, perfect. Sorry, I'm trying to uh, control trying to my ADD. <laughs> All right, so video, like I was saying, video, 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 do it for LinkedIn, do it for Facebook. It's an incredibly easy way to show everyone out there that you've got something of free that you can offer to them that's valuable, that will help them save money over time. And of course, whenever someone signs up as a lead, you get an email, that shows them who that lead was when they sign up, 
and whether or not they signed up through that link or if they actually just signed up because one of your other homeowners referred them. So that's kind of the first piece there is shooting video. The second piece that's really important is you can set up consultations around HomeBot. So what I've been doing and what I've been encourage, encouraging a lot of people to do is when you actually reach out to your database or if you're doing CRM campaigns, you can actually just put your Calendly link in there, put a link to your calendar and say, hey, by the way, I'm working with everyone on their HomeBot. I am doing digital consultations at 15 minute segments. Sign up for a digital consultation. We'll run through your HomeBot together. Or go through the activity feed and reach out to your homeowners that way. Give them a call and say, hey, I'm setting up consultations. Notice that you have some awesome opportunities to use your equity. Let's talk about it. Or, hey, now might be a good time to buy. Let's talk about the market. Let's go through your HomeBot market report and kind of see what zip code you might be interested in or look at your free Y Lopo home search. There's a lot of different ways that you can leverage HomeBot to get in front of your clients proactively. Now, Todd, have you tried using the uh, personalized URL to your advantage yet? Um, I don't know. I guess it depends on what your definition of personalized URL is. My guess is if I'm asking, the answer is no. <laughs> All right, perfect. So my, my homework for you, Todd, is post your personalized URL on social media at some point in time over the next week. Really easy to access. You just go to the share button in your dashboard. Oh, yeah, all right, we've done that. Yeah, we've done that before. All right, perfect. Good. I don't feel so dumb now. Thank you for putting me on the spot. <laughs> I'm not like you know my own personal one with like my name or my picture in or something. You know. Hey man, it's like I said too. I mean, well, actually, more than anything, I'm the guy who needs the accountability. I got to join your uh, 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Right. That's good. And we got to go and it actually starts at 9 a.m. Eastern time. It's just that I'm still asleep at that time. Actually, I guess I'm awake, but I'm just not on Zoom at that time. So we do have some East Coasters getting into the Zoom room early. Uh, but I, it's been kind of fun. I and mean, we had a good time in there today. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm going to have to hop in on one of those. Just uh, introduce myself, maybe pick up some top tactics on my end too. Well, but everyone's right. not, no one's talking in their grant. We're all actually doing our lead generation. <laughs> Just some, it's accountability and it's a, some smiling faces since you're working at home all alone, you know, just you and your cat. It just <laughs> other people. It's that accountability of saying, I'm going to be there. I'm going to do my job because when we did unmute for about, about five, 10 minutes today, it was amazing to hear some really top producers that people would, would know from the mortgage coach community talk about how they've been so reactive and focusing on their refinance, you know, pipeline that they haven't been doing the proactive things they need to do to grow their business for once we're all back out. Um, out of our cages and, and back out doing regular business. And that's really what's critical right now is that you schedule that time to get it done. and just a way to do it with some other smiling faces, seeing other people working hard. Oh yeah. No, that's the best way to do it too. Hey, if there's motivation filling the room, whether it's uh, physical or digital, that motivation's going to spread, right? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So we got some more questions, but I'll let you keep rolling for a minute and then we'll make sure we get all your questions here at the end. So don't, uh, don't worry. I'll make sure we put Grant on the spot for all of these. All right, perfect. I'm looking forward to it too, especially uh, since we have a group that's been a few slides ahead of me the entire time. I'm super pumped about it. All right, so here's the last piece. The last piece is just an understanding of pricing. Really simple, like Todd said, WBN lender, if you're interested in signing up, we have two plans. If you just wanna dip your toe in the water, test out the ROI, it's $100 a month for lender base, get you up to 500 people you can upload. It's no contract, which means you can upgrade or cancel at any time. The second piece is Lender Pro. Lender Pro is $200 a month. You can upload up to 1,000 of your own people. You get that agent freemium, so you can actually invite agents for free. You can also invite agents for $25 a month for the agent, $25 a month for you. That's the agent pro. And you also get access to the YLOPO listing search, bomb bomb integration, mortgage coach integration, sales boomerang integration. So there's a lot of good stuff to unpack there as well. See, so you just, you just answered a bunch of the questions. So the WBN lender code waives your $200 activation fee and it waives the $50 activation fee for real estate agents. Um, someone's asking the mortgage coach integration, is that only going to be for mortgage coach enterprise users or is that, will that be everybody? Excellent question. So we consistently are keeping talk lines open with mortgage coach on that. 
right now from what I've seen on the Facebook page, I believe it will currently start by just being available for enterprise users of Mortgage Coach. And then we'll have to consider or just keep going from there and see if we can open it up to people that are individual. Don't wanna speak for Mortgage Coach on their behalf, but from my perspective and my understanding, it would have to start off being Mortgage Coach Enterprise. That, that's what I've heard. And so I'm trying to come up with a solution with Dave for how do I help um, the Win by Noon community get access to, you know, how can we band together with, with a non-enterprise enterprise account so that you guys who are mortgage coach users but don't work for enterprise companies can actually have access to this stuff. So stay tuned. If that's something that would be of interest to you, just, just ping me because, you know, I probably need to get about 50 people involved in order to have that make. Um, economic sense. Uh, but, you know, I think that that's something that's doable. Perfect. Yeah. And going on just a little bit further there. It's so realtor side, super simple. WBN agent, $50 a month split between the agent and lender, waives the setup fee. By the way, this question has come up before. If you sign an agent up for the freemium version, they don't have to worry about paying the setup fee if they go over 25. So that's just one final important piece to note there too. I know I've gotten a lot of questions on that before. Now here's the most important part. So we've talked about a lot of top producer tactics today. We've given a lot of information on client engagement. So I want you guys first to email me after this presentation because everyone on the line, I have not only a HomeBot playbook that I will send to you digitally, but I also have HomeBot's top 10 top producer tactics. So if you wanna email me after this presentation, I will send you both of those eBooks. We'll have a lot about what we talked about today and a few other added pieces. And also, if you're thinking about Win by Noon or if you haven't checked it out, or if you want to talk to Todd more about his professional experience on HomeBot, it's Todd at winbynoon.com. Sound about right, Todd? That was good. That was good. The only, only thing that's really odd is that I'm, maybe it's good. I, I don't think you guys see me. I don't see myself on here. So it's kind of nice that since Grant's sharing the screen, you guys don't have to look at my face uh, this whole time. But um, someone else asking if you have a Zoom, um, if you have a slide deck that you guys will share with LOs to, to give this presentation to agents. Is that something that's available or is this top secret? You bet I do. So I have not only a real estate agent deck, that's a generic, but I also have a real estate agent deck specifically focused on the digital disruption because it's all digital right now, right? I think that's awesome. And, and I'll make sure someone else was asking about scripting and other training. You know, the, when the, the presentation that I've done in the past has walked through the different sections and I've kind of talked through the scripting that my team and I have used with regards to clients as they're calling in. And so, kind of as a commitment to you guys, just be looking, give me probably two weeks because then I'll have seen, uh, maybe by then I can get my business development manager to be brave enough to jump on with me to talk about her experience. But worst case is I'll make sure I get something going where I walk through specific scripts with you know how we're dealing with clients on our team and what I've heard from other clients that I've coached. Um, so I'll make sure that we do a follow-up webinar to that. So just look for it. I'll make sure I get it posted up and certainly would love um, any, and of all you, any and all of you to be part of that. And I'm happy to answer you know, any questions. My team has about 2000 clients in inside HomeBot. We've been using as Grant said for I think about two years now. And it's just one of those things where for, for the amount of money it costs, it's by far exceeded our expectations on ROI. And I joke with real estate agents because they're like, how much is it? And so, I, you know, when I tell them it's, you know, 25 bucks a month, and I said, gosh, if you can just sell one house from it, you've paid for it for like 20 some odd years, they all laugh. Because ultimately, it's just not that expensive. And they will they will get house sales out of it. And the thing that puts a smile on my face is when you get a refinance request and you notice it's from, you know, Andrew's client, it's not from one of our own sphere. So we are absolutely getting interaction and refinances from the, the real estate agents, uh, you know, database that's in there, you know, regardless of obviously who did that original loan. And, and that's really, I think where the power is. It's just this, there's never been a tool that I've seen that's, that's created that client engagement without us having to really work really hard. Yeah, no, couldn't put it any better myself, Todd. Uh, I was going to say, uh, if, if we uh, if we get out of all the craziness here, I might have to hire you as the Arizona guy, right? Um, all right. Well, I don't know if I'm going that far, but I'm nonetheless, <laughs> I'll, I'll support you any way that I can. Yeah, I guess you just tell me what that looks like. Maybe. I, um, 
you know, I, I think it's, I think it's awesome that Grant, you're able to spend the time, you know, if you guys have any other questions, this would be a great time, you know, to ask, obviously I know a lot of you who joined us today, but there's some of you who, who I don't, and just know that my goal of doing this was a reaction to the positive feedback uh, that I've gotten, you know, over the past couple of years on HomeBot, but also knowing that we had Ernie, the founder on uh, Dave and I on Friday on our mortgage coach webinar, and that that would um, get a lot of people who had questions about it, wanted to peek under the hood. I knew Grant would do just a great job of walking you guys all through, you know, the benefits. And when he got all nerdy and excited about this new digital disruption deck he had, I figured it was going to be great. So thank you, Grant, for taking the time. And I know you guys, I always thank you guys for your time because you guys are so busy. And I think even now more than ever, you know, people are joking that we're all spending our time plugged in on these Zoom webinars. Um, but I actually think your time right now is more valuable than ever. And so keep that in mind as you're leaving here, you know, what are you going to do next? You know, how are you going to actually take the rest of the day, whether you're in the, you know, East Coast and it's almost the end of your day or whether you're in the West Coast and you're at midday, just know that, you know, your time is yours, whether you're at home with family and getting interrupted, great, then take time and enjoy it with your family. If you're um, at home by yourself or in an office by yourself, then take that time and be, be super productive because I feel like this next quarter um, could, it, certainly it's going to define the rest of your year, but I think it actually could, could actually be a kickoff to the rest of your career. If you actually crush it um, these next 30 days that you're stuck at home or with limited work, I think that that actually can set the, the stage for really a springboard going forward. I don't know about you, Grant, you're going to be moving to Arizona. So, you know, that'll be, uh, that'll be your springboard. But uh, I don't know, I'm just super passionate about that thought right now. Yeah, I'm totally with you on that, Todd, too. This redefines how you learn self-discipline, how you handle your business, how you figure out different hacks to other aspects of your business that may be automated, may not be automated. It's really going to be where people figure themselves out and really dig deep to understand and how they're going to operate best. So I'm excited to see everything too, but if you guys have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. Reach out to Todd. He's a great coach on top of everything else. And thanks for having me again, man. Hey, it's my pleasure. I'm throwing up there. If you guys want to join us in the Zoom room in the mornings, it's, it opens up at nine in every time zone and goes till noon in Pacific time. But um, I'm on there, you know, every day from, uh, it depends what time we get in the office. I, it's a little slower because we're dragging kids with us to the office some days. So when kids come, I'm on by nine. When my wife and I get up, we're in, in here by 7.30 or eight uh, working. So that's, uh, feel free to jump in. There's just a button you click and it'll pull you right into Zoom in the morning. Um, go back there and look for the future webinars. And, you know, just again, grateful for all of you for taking your time and especially you, Grant, for your leadership. It's really needed now and I'm grateful for that. Yes, sir. Hope you have an awesome rest of your day, Todd. Thanks for everyone on the line. I'll talk to you soon. All right, guys, take care.